Hello, I am Majella and I am studying an undergraduate psychology degree. This video is about phobia therapy and how to overcome your fear. Ketsa ida phobia, the fear of cockroaches, is one of the most common fears. Just seeing a cockroach has caused people to become anxious and it can be very difficult to dislodge this particular thought from your unconscious. You may never love cockroaches, but you can learn to deal with your anxiety about them. The standard treatment process for any phobia is exposure therapy. You start by simply talking about cockroaches, then you progress to look at photos of them, then seeing the dead cockroach in a container and maybe seeing pinned cockroaches in a museum and eventually looking at the real thing. To achieve this so your anxiety and your fear doesn't escalate, we can use a procedure called systematic desensitization. This procedure was developed by Joseph Walpole. He got people with a phobia to practice relaxation techniques whilst imagining the fear producing stimuli, which for this phobia is the cockroach. This technique is often used when we, you are working with a psychologist to overcome your fear and phobia. However, the relaxation methods can be used during your self-help process to minimize escalation of emotions. There are many relaxation apps that are accessible to you to use so you become familiar with relaxation techniques before exposure therapy. The reason you are doing this relaxation whilst imagining the cockroach is because you are wanting to manage the fear that you experience from the fearful stimuli which is the cockroach. The relaxation process prevents the occurrence of the fear response which we know as the fight-flight response. The relaxation response, for example, deep breathing, is a helpful way to turn off that fight-flight response and bring the body back to a pre-stress level. Therefore, when you imagine the anxiety and fear associated to the cockroach through the relaxation pro process, it allows you to work on your phobia with exposure for therapy. So the first step is facing your fear of cockroaches exposing yourself to, to cockroaches. So most treatments of specific phobias include some form of exposure to fear objects. You must face your fear to overcome it. If you're uncomfortable around cockroaches and afraid of them, but your fear doesn't trigger panic attacks or unmanageable anxiety, you can probably work on overcoming this fear yourself. But for individuals who have a fear that triggers a panic attack, don't try self-help techniques. See a licensed psychologist or therapist for help with exposure therapy. As we know that expo exposure therapies are highly successful at treating phobias and we want you to overcome your phobia, not to worsen it. So the next step is to build an exposure hierarchy. So what you do is you write down um, a list from about one to 10, maybe to 15 if you need more. One being the situation that would bring you the least amount of fear, such as thinking about cockroaches. Ten being the situation that would bring you the most amount of fear, which might be touching the cockroach. <clears throat> Work your way up the ladder by first becoming comfortable with number one. Thinking about cockroaches gradually until you have little to no fear thinking about cockroaches. And then move to number two and so on until you have reached your top item between 10 or 15 steps. When starting this method, it is, good, it is a good idea to have adequate support like a friend throughout each of the steps. An example of an exposure hierarchy associated to cockroaches might be that you look at a picture of a cockroach, you touch the picture of the cockroach, you then move on to looking at a toy of cockroach and touch the toy of the cockroach. You might then look at a video of cockroach and touch the video screen of the cockroach. You will then go to a museum and visit an exhibition of the uh, pinned cockroaches. Go outside and look for a live cockroach and observe it and have a friend support you whilst you're doing this. Watch a friend catch a live cockroach in a jar. jar. Look at the live cockroach in a jar. You might catch a cockroach in a jar and you might look at that cockroach that you caught in the jar and then you might handle the cockroach. 
it's okay to start small. That's why you build your fear hierarchy. Rate your anxiety levels from 1 to 10, 1 being least amount of anxiety and 10 being extremely high anxiety so that you understand the emotion you're experiencing during this process. During your engagement of exposure, if you find yourself becoming increasingly anxious, it may be time to go down a step, redo the previous step, and st or you might have to stop the exposure for a brief time. If you become too anxious and do not seem to get relief, even with prolonged exposure, it could make your fear worse. So be careful and seek consultation with mental health professionals if, if needed. The next thing to determine is how long you will spend on exposure therapy each week. This may start small, like an hour of exposure at least a few times per week, and then you increase this time each day and week. It's important to commit to spending enough time for the exposure to work. Doing it sporadically or infrequently will not produce the results you're looking for. Remind yourself that while you will be probably feeling anxious during your sessions, you are not in real danger. You will make it through the anxiety. Try to bring yourself through the initial experience of anxiety or fear by using the deep breathing exercises. The longer you can commit to staying with the exposure, the more likely it is to work. Remember your relaxation techniques. An example of this is with level one of the hierarchical ladder that you built. You start with pictures and toy cockroaches. So to truly overcome your fear, you have to learn how to deal with cockroaches in your presence. It can help to start in the presence of a supportive person who will help you feel less afraid and anxious. So sit near the person as they calmly take out the picture. Try to sit still for a couple of seconds. Repeat this process several times each day. Try to increase your time spent with the picture of the cockroach. When you feel safe or comfortable enough, try touching the picture. After having worked up to touching the picture, increase your time spent um, having contact with the picture. Once you have gotten used to looking at the co um, cockroach picture, Try upping the discomfort factor, holding a toy cockroach, which is the next level in the built hierarchy. Remember, you will probably feel discomfort, but as long as you don't feel completely overwhelmed, you should keep going. Remember your breathing and your relaxation techniques. You then repeat this process with the next level of the built hierarchy by using a toy cockroach and you continue this process through the different levels. At some point you will reach the highest level of the hierarchy that you will need to. That's tolerating, you know, you're tolerating, being able to tolerate being around the cockroach. Being, um, being able to tolerate being around the cockroach means that when there is a cockroach around you, you don't automatically want to just go and step on it and run away or scream and get somebody else to kill it or pull out, pull out the fly swat or the spray can. Use your breathing skills and relaxation skills and stand far away from it and keep looking at it until you feel less scared. Keep doing it until you are next to or very close to the cockroach. Keep in mind that it will not harm you. If you continue to do this through prolonged exposure, you may naturally become less afraid. Visiting a cockroach exhibition at the museum can help you tolerate being near one. You could also go outside and look for cockroaches. When you find one, observe it from a distance. Remember your breathing and relaxation techniques throughout this whole process. Continue through the levels of exposure and tolerating the cockroach hierarchy steps until you reach your goal. And do not forget to reward yourself at the end of accomplishing the fact that you overcame your fear of cockroaches. Finally, if your fear of cockroaches is excessive and interferes with your daily life, you will need professional help and to consider some alternative treatments. Thank you for your time and for listening to this presentation.